How can physical exercise boost your cognition and your brain health through neuroplasticity? Let's break it down. Your muscles constantly communicate with the brains via molecules that are called exerkines. These molecules include peptides, metabolites, nucleic acids, and they are released by muscles, by fat, and by your liver during physical exercise. Myokines, for example, are the one released by the skeletal muscles. These are very important because it has been shown that they can cross the brain blood barrier and in this way they can activate and really actively work on several networks, for example, long-term potentiation mechanism and other neurological also aspects. By activating these critical pathways, they can consolidate your learning capacity, your memory, um, they can regulate better your emotions, they can sharpen your focus, your attention, your decision-making and critical thinking. And of course, they have a very big also neuroprotective role. This means that you're just more resilient against diseases and specifically also against neurodegenerative diseases because they are responsible for neuroplasticity and they work against neuronal inflammation. Now, different types of exercise can trigger all these pathways in the brains. Cardio and strength training all have an effect, but specifically high-intensity strength training, and this means at least 80% of your repetition maximum, of your maximum capacity, which means hard, okay? You need to make effort when you do strength training. This is the most important when you want to have an effect in functionality and also the quantity of release of your myokines. Now, another difference between the cardio, for example, and strength training is that they activate these neuronal pathways in different ways, depending whether the exercise session is a chronic one or an acute one. Physical exercise and exercise are so powerful that they are now not only considered and studied as a preventive uh, method or approach that we can have for patients and populations, but also healing. Take, for example, neurodegenerative diseases and specifically Parkinson's disease, which I'm researching. It has been shown to be a very promising, modifying, possibly, therapy, meaning that the first therapy that will really have a modifying disease effect will come out of physical exercise.